check it out. Cooking some stuff. Uh, this is a, it's a chicken noodle thing that I, I make. I'm, I'm actually in the middle of making a video. See, you can see it. I'm gonna cut up some chicken right here in a minute. Um, but anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm. Some people asked me to make this video, so I decided, hey, why the hell not? I'll make it. Uh, but ultimately, what I'm here to talk about is just to give you guys an update of what's going on. Uh, I'm cooking. That's what happens. What goes on? You gotta eat every day. Might as well know how. Uh, so these are kind of in the mix. I've got a few recipes that are running around in my head. I'm like, eh, maybe I'll make some videos about these. Uh, I've also got uh, I've got a project that I've been working on. Uh, little bits and pieces. It's just I don't I don't want to release all of it until I can put the whole thing together. It's kind of like a puzzle. You get a bunch of little pieces, stick them together, and you have something. Otherwise, you just have a bunch of pieces of nothing. And I might make them episodic and just kind of release them in, in bits. But I want to make sure I have everything that I need to, to put all that together uh, in order to kind of make it all happen. Um, I, I made that uh, smelter to put in the backyard. That's actually going really well. I've been melting down some aluminum cans. I figure about once a month I'm going to do a meltdown and make some more ingots. And then after a while, when I have enough uh, you know, aluminum ingots, I can actually make what I want to make out of it. But that's for later time. Uh, but that's really, it's just a, it's a tool that I was creating. I created a tool for a future project. Uh, and that's kind of what I was I was getting out of that video that I released a couple weeks back uh, in regard to that. It's not that I was making a video about the project or, you know, about the, the smelter. It's like there's been a bunch of those out there, and that's... I'm not looking to teach you guys how to make that. You can find that elsewhere in much better videos than I can make. So the, the idea here is that I've got the smelter, I've got a few other ideas and things that I've been pulling together and some tools that I've been making for future projects and future ideas of, of making new and interesting stuff. Uh, I've also been tearing apart my amp in my car, because if you guys remember a while back, I had a little bit of an issue where my amp made a lot of really loud, obnoxious noise. I finally got around to pulling the amp out of the car, and I've dismantled it so I can get the wire harness off of the amp, and I'm going to utilize that uh, to create a, an adapter for uh, a couple of other amps that I'm going to be putting into my car, and that's going to lead into future functions of ripping out the head unit and ripping out uh, the Bluetooth device and replacing it with some more advanced stuff, getting an ODB2, OBD2 reader uh, and get that in place uh, so I can, you know, get information out of the car when I'm, what's wrong with the car? You know, just, just to keep information up. It's, it's going to be an interesting uh, long-term project, uh, but it's, you know, that's a lot of uh, money and investment and uh, that kind of jazz. It's just, it's, it's down the road. It's what's going to happen. Um, Otherwise, uh, I've got a uh, an office that I'm constructing in uh, in a couple of weeks, and that's gonna be everything from the infrastructure installation, computer installation, and then I've also got uh, an IP PBX. Uh, it's an asterisk based system that I'm installing and pulling that up and running. It's gonna be really awesome. And then in addition to that, I'm gonna have a follow up video about putting asterisk on your uh, 1900 ACS or an OpenWRT enabled router or also you can put this on PFSense and we'll show you how to get that up and running. And, and then I'm gonna show you how to maybe even tie it into a, a home system. So you'll have a system that's sitting somewhere uh, in a business environment. You have you know your home base and that's gonna be where your phones are gonna be input, output, all that kind of jazz. And then you'll have like a satellite office or just a satellite base where you can install Asterisk on your OpenWRT or PFSense box, get a dial plan set up to communicate between the two, uh, the two Asterisk machines and then you can have two PBXs connecting. That's going to be a little, it's really cool. It's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff in the pipe. Uh, it's a lot of little pieces that I've been just slowly kind of chumming together and getting them uh, friendly so we can make the videos. And I say we, I mean me, myself, and the other voice in my head. Uh, and that's kind of where I'm at. So right now I'm hungry, so I'm going to finish cooking this and making this video. And yeah, see you next time.